in that song kind of got everybody mad because it said black girls want to just all night and he ain't got that much jam. I thought about that and I say, Lord, if Mick Jagger had seen the two articles I had read in Parade Magazine and in Newsweek, he would be gloating. that would significantly put a, a break on the problem. What would really put a break on the problem of illegitimacy is a 20% income tax surcharge for parents of two or more illegitimate children. People get, hate getting hit in the pocketbook. Now why would I do this? Children. You think 
think they would learn the first time, no. So we have to persuade them to put a break on them. Here's more. I would um, do something positive, though. I would, in, I would institute a 5 to 10% income tax rebate to anyone having themselves sterilized or get themselves a vasectomy. And the reason being, these people are not going to contribute to the problem. Or if they do, they're not going to make matters worse, and I think they should be supported. Now, you might think, oh, why don't they just get an abortion? Or why, oh, why not take care of the kid? Well, I, a, I do and don't support abortion. Yes, it could be a defense against illegitimacy but it also could be carte blanche for promiscuity. And remember, I want to also bring these illegitimate fathers to bear for the problem. Now, I'm going to be the first person to admit the solutions that I'm talking about are highly draconian. In the words of my mother, she'd probably tell me that I'm swinging the hat. But it seems that my tax dollars have historically been going to finance promiscuity. I'd rather my tax dollars go to keep our highways in shape to finance daycare centers. There are more constructive means where my tax dollars can go other than to finance promiscuity. In other words, I'd like to quote a jazz trumpeter by the name of Donald Byrd. Back, I don't know, sometime in the mid-70s, he cut a record called Think twice. And that's the whole theme of this discussion. To get young people to think twice before engaging in illicit sex and subsequently illegitimate children. Are there any questions? of a normally consummated marriage, when, when you have 15-year-olds getting pregnant, that's illegitimate, no matter how you slice it. What is this thing? That's, and what if that's just as bad. I'm not going to deny it. And what if they subsequently marry? As is what happens a lot of times. People, I mean, you've heard of shotgun marriages or whatever. People mess around, they get pregnant, they rush to the altar. Are they still illegitimate? They were conceived outside of marriage. Probably. Normal marriage. Probably. But the problem is, think about that before you crawl into bed in the first place. In fact, refrain from doing it until you make something of yourself. And then have all the babies you want. So what you're talking about is absolutely. Yes, abstinence is what I prefer. Okay. What, what about those women who go to the sperm bank? Those men that donate the sperm, should they be held responsible and should they suffer from this tax surcharge if they're working? No. There's a whole That's lot of men that's going to go free and they're not going to be penalized. What can you do about that? That depends on... Uh, why? I want to stop the for money. They donate their sperm for money. I want to stop the the Mac Daddy players, okay? And I want to stop the hot little mamas. I don't want to penalize those who really care about raising 
children. But that but is the legitimacy, though. You don't marry sperm. <laughs> Maybe not. And I will concede that technology is pulling us, as you pointed out, into a brave new world area. Elias. Two questions. You mentioned uh, making legitimacy for fathers a felony. Um, does that include mothers, and does that take into consideration that our jails are already overcrowded, and the fact that those jail spaces are already taken up by hardcore drug dealers? Would we let the hardcore drug dealers go for in favor of women and children? I hold that if you recklessly knock up this lady, and this lady, and this lady, aren't you a hardcore a hardcore criminal. So then you're doing something criminal to people. So then that's so you say you would let the drug dealers go in favor of them. I wouldn't let them go, but I would categorize Mac Daddy players in the same category as, as I would well, drug dealers. Well, since you make that a part of your solution, shouldn't you have a way of funding it? Aren't we doing that enough? Thank you. We're not funding it. We're not. We funding. are funding illegitimacy. No, funding jails. I don't care about legitimacy. That's not the point. I'm saying you don't have enough jail space. If you can show me how you can get the jail space, we can put them in jail. That's fine with me. I'm just asking you, <laughs> where do you put them? There's no I'm room. certain two and a half years uh, won't overcrowd any jails. Too much. Already in the back. Yeah. Oh, I'm just wondering, how do you prove who the father is? It's very hard to prove who the father of the child. Jails. And my second thing is, you're saying you have a 20% income tax surcharge for parents of total more legitimate children. Most of those people are on welfare anyway. Yeah, that's what it's kind of hard to tax them. So. Mm -hmm. I would yeah, consider yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, putting a brick on the welfare in a case like that. The third one is, is it's pretty good, I think. Mean, that's what they use, I believe, in China, or is it? Mm -hmm. is yeah, it's sterilization. Yeah, Actually, they, use, they use the same techniques, but the other two, the first one, first of all, you just can't prove who the father is. Uh, aren't, isn't DNA testing effective? It's more on DNA that testing than putting them in jail. You're, you're worried about your tax dollars, but you're going to spend more per tax dollar doing a DNA test than hunting them down. Well, my issue is you can't be 100% sure about anything. You go to any clinic, any family planning clinic will tell you that birth control is only 98% accurate and all the other things below.